Hi, my name is Eugenia and I'm a math tutor. Today we're going to talk about how to simplify using the associative property of multiplication. First, let's take a look at what the associative property of multiplication says. It states that a times b times c is equal to a times b times c. This basically means that when we are multiplying, no matter how we group our factors, the product is still the same. For example, if we have 2 times 3 in parentheses times 4, the associative property tells us that this should be equal to 2 times 3 times 4 in parentheses. According to our order of operations, we have to do everything in parentheses first, so here we have 2 times 3 is 6 times 4, is equal to, here we have 3 times 4 is 12, so 2 times 12. And of course we know that 6 times 4 is 24, and 2 times 12 is also 24. So we can see that this property really does work. Now let's take a look at how we can use this when simplifying. Suppose we need to simplify 2 times 4x times 3 times 5x. Using the associative property, we can regroup these numbers to be 2 times 4 x times 3 times 5 x. Now we can multiply the coefficients and get 2 times 4 is 8 x times 3 times 5 is 15 x. We can use the associative property again to regroup and get 8 times 15 times x times x. We know that 8 times 15 is 120 and x times x is x squared, so that gives us our answer, 120 x squared. Another example of how the associative property of multiplication can help us simplify is when we are multiplying numbers that are long or hard to multiply. For example, suppose we need to simplify 7 times 568 times 1 over 7. We would normally go ahead and multiply the 7 times the 568 and then multiply by 1 7 following our order of operations. But that is a lot of multiplication to do by hand. Instead, it would be easier if we used the associative property of multiplication to rearrange these numbers. We could write 7 times 1 7 times 568. 7 times 1 7 is 1 and 1 times 568 is 568. That was a lot easier, and that's how we use the associative property of multiplication to simplify. Thanks for watching!